Hello, this is Dr. Moss from Medwell Spine, Knee and Leg Pain Center of Midland Park located in Bergen County. In this video, I will go over some of the common questions about knee pain and why what you have done has not worked, why what you should not choose surgery as your first realistic option, even if you are bone on bone. Also, I'm going to go over what you need to do now to reverse your knee arthritis and knee pain. I will inform you about some of the facts and common mistakes patients and doctors have continuously been making in order to prevent you from being a victim of it. Let me share with you something very interesting. Due to the recent pandemic, we have had influx of patients who were scheduled to have total knee replacement surgery directly as a result of seeking us, these patients, they stopped going for surgery with this non-surgical approach for knee arthritis recovery. Guess what? 65% of these patients, they felt better and they said, we do not want surgery anymore. I know. I was surprised about that too. So as our physicians. Feeling 20 years younger is entirely realistic. This protocol has put an end to many years of frustration and tension and chronic pain for many patients. Imagine stopping your knee pain without surgery, without anesthesia, without cortisone shots. Imagine feeling confident while you're walking or climbing stairs, being able to do the sports that you like to do without feeling your knee is giving away being able to rise from a sitting position, being able to kneel down, not having trouble getting in and out of the car. These things are entirely possible to be reversed without invasive surgery. Well, in simple terms, the problem is that your joint space in your knee is narrowing, so you may be bone on bone. You have decreased lubrication, increased swelling and inflammation, the supporting ligaments and muscles and tendons and meniscus, they are weak or partially torn. The nerve electrical signaling is not as potent as it was before. So you need nerve energy to make the muscles strong. What you need to do is exactly opposite of what is happening in your knee. You need to increase your joint space, increase lubrication, decrease swelling and inflammation, regenerate supporting ligaments, tendons, muscles, nerves, meniscus, and wake up the nerve electrical signaling. This is what needs to be done for you to get your knee back. Folks, pain pills do not lubricate your knees. They do not even fix the problem. They mask your symptom for the day. Not to mention, it affects your kidneys, these pain pills that you're taking, they affect your liver, they affect your mind, they are addictive. They have multiple side effects. They're habit forming, they cause constipation, they weaken your breathing, they cause fatigue, stress, they lower your sex drive. Some of you have tried cortisone shots. Cortisone shots, they're good for only one time if you need it. Repeated use of these injections, they have side effects, including osteoporosis, elevating your blood sugar, suppressing your immune system. Cortisone is known as glucocorticosteroids. Gluco is derived from glucose. So that's why they elevate your blood sugar. That's why if you're diabetic, you shouldn't have them. Cortisone is great for one time to relieve your symptoms for a while, not repetitiously to be done for long term. So in this video, I will go over three things. Why you should not have surgery even if you're bone on bone. There are alternatives. Why what you have done has not worked and what you should do now that has been working well on hundreds of our patients in our office and thousands of patients nationwide.
But let me go over some facts. Joint replacement, the plastics, the metal that they put in your body for total knee replacement, they last an average of 10 to 12 years. Surgeons will place these metals and plastics in your knee joint. I want you to understand any foreign object increases the risk of infection. Anything foreign goes in your body, it increases the risk of infection. So this is something that you need to really consider before you're going for surgery. I had a patient who also was a friend of ours, who is also a physician, very known physician. He went through knee surgery, total knee replacement, bilateral, means both. The reason he did that, because he didn't want to take more time from work, he didn't want to do months of rehab twice, and he didn't want to lose the income. So he did bilateral knee replacement. Guess what happened? Not too far after the surgery, he had bilateral knee joint infection, and he ended up on a wheelchair. Because these plastics and metals they put in your body, they're foreign. Not to mention, when you put plastics and metal on any weight-bearing joints in the body, they start breaking down. They deteriorate, similar to plastics and metal that you put on your countertop. They oxidize. They start changing color. But there's a solution for this. How many surgeries do you want to have? How long? I hope you want to live 10 to 12 years or longer because if you're intending to live more than 10 to 12 years placing metals and plastics in your body and in your joints is a wrong choice so choose your options wisely let me go over some more disappointing statistics but true by the way everything that i say is my opinion you need to Google everything yourself. This information is available in Google. My job is not to just reference everything I tell you. My job is to inform you. Your job is to implement it, if it makes sense to you. Did you know 51% of all surgeries fail? 51% of all surgeries fail. They don't have satisfactory result. 50% of the people who have surgery, we are talking about total knee replacement, they need additional surgery. Plus three to six months of rehab for the second surgery. The choice is yours. How many surgeries are you intending to have? We have had numerous patients who come to our office, they had total knee replacement, they have arthroscopic surgery, they have been taking pain pills, they have had multiple surgeries, they are still in pain. Surgery comes with lost time, limited function, pain and suffering, alteration of your mood, and there is no guarantee with it as well, similar to any other medical procedure that's done. This was published in Journal of Orthopedic Medicine, Risks of Surgery. This is not what I'm making, this is what Journal of Orthopedic Medicine stating. Risks of surgery, bleeding disorders, blood clots after surgery. Blood clots could cause stroke. Trouble breathing after surgery. Anesthesia complication. Post-operative infections we mentioned. 30 days after total knee replacement, there's a chance of death. One out of 400 people die after total knee replacement surgery. This is a statistics. Not to mention, you did surgery not to take medications for the rest of your life. Now, you may have to take more pain medications and muscle relaxants because they cut the muscles, they cut the skin, you have a big scar tissue on your knee after the surgery. I mean just anesthesia by itself. After anesthesia, there is an increased risk 
of neurological or psychiatric conditions. Delirium, Alzheimer, dementia. You can get early dementia, early Alzheimer. There is a diagnosis code for post-operative cognitive dysfunction due to anesthesia. Do you really want to deal with that? So, there is alternative. Now, surgery may be needed. For some cases, surgery may be needed. We refer patients for surgery. Our orthopedic trained doctors refer patients for surgery. The problem is that we all know when surgery is needed, but most doctors who are surgeons do not know when surgery is not needed. They should, the patient should do something else prior to this. That is why Medicare is approving the following care that I tell you that is non-surgical, non-steroidal, non-anesthesia, no months of rehab is needed. There is no downtime needed after this care as a must as part of conservative care for a patient has to go through it before they could be a candidate for surgery. I will go over what you should do. I will go over what you shouldn't do. There are a lot of common mistakes among patients and doctors. The first is a standing x-rays. The reason I say standing is most patients who have had knee pain, they come to us, they don't have x-rays. A lot of patients that have had knee pain for a long time, they come to us with an x-ray that was supine or prone. They were laying down on a flatbed, x-ray was done. But the problem is that with that is you have pain when you're standing. You don't have pain when you're laying down in your bed. You have pain when you're sitting on a couch and want to get up to be standing. Therefore, the x-ray needs to be standing. That's why we do standing x-rays to see what is the position of your actual knee joint when you're standing. Is it the medial side that has a problem? Is it the lateral side that has a problem? Is it the front of the knee that has a problem? Is it the back of the knee that has a problem? So standing x-rays are essential. Next common mistake that we see in our office is most patients who have had injections, they have had injections without imaging guidance. What it means, imaging guidance, it helps the physician when they inject the person's knee to see at the point of entry what's going on in the knee joint because we don't like to guess. We want to see. We want to localize the point of entry to your joint to see where the medication goes. The problem is we see a lot of surgeons who are expert in their field, and this is kind of something very basic for them to provide an injection versus cut you and give you a surgery. They do a blindfold without imaging guidance. And Without imaging guidance, if an injection is done, the medication may miss the area that it's supposed to go. Because don't forget, these injections that we're talking about are commonly known as gel shots. These gels they have to be in a specific area of your knee to stay there. They are similar to the uh, fillers that mostly ladies, they put in their face, they are gel. And the reason they're gel because wherever the physician puts them, they stay there. Now, you need to understand, before we provide the injections, our medical team take your history. They take your history based on your age, based on your level of activity, based on your complicating factors. They in take into consideration all of that based on your evaluation, examination, before recommending what type of procedure suits you best. Whether it's corticosteroids, whether it's gel shots, whether it's nerve block shots, whether it's combination. These injections are virtually painless. We have many patients 
they report to us these injections, they don't hurt, and some of them they don't even feel it because they use a freezing spray on the knee joint. So this way, a lot of our patients, they do not feel it, and you don't need hospitalization. You do not need anesthesia. You do not need months of rehab. You don't need to do specific exercises after this. There is no time off from work. You walk in and you walk out without a scar on your knee. These gel shots are safe. They are designed to stay where we put the injection, which in this case is your knee joint. So to provide cushioning, they help cushioning, they help restoring function, they help for you to be more active because one of the reasons you are not active is because you're afraid of having pain and inflammation at the same time or later. These gel shots, they are known to be effective six months or longer. Granted, sometimes you may need a corticosteroid shot. Sometimes we have been successful that our patients, they get a nerve block shots because around your knee joint, there is a couple of nerves on each side. Our nerve specialist injects you with a specific medication that is non-corticosteroid. And they work, and they work really, really well to give you pain relief. The next thing that's very important is custom fit bracing after injection. Now, bracing could be used to stabilize your knee, but some of you, you come here, you say, I don't need my knee to be stabilized. I can walk, but when I walk long, I have a problem. But you need to understand, bracing is also used to unload your knee. That's why they're called unloader knee brace. This is another common mistake. Many patients, they come to our office, they have had a brace given to them, but it's the wrong brace because their next door neighbor used it, they felt better, so they thought they're gonna feel better as well because the doctor, just give them a knee brace. You have to have a knee unloader brace. Custom fitted for you. That's why we provide custom fit unloader brace to you as our patient. Because no two knees are equal. Well, guess what? Your right knee and left knee are not equal. They're not the same. Okay? And it's also good to unload your knee so when the medication or the gel shot is provided to you, the gel stays there. And if you wear it for 30 minutes, an hour, two hours, it's gonna stay. Then you can take it off. Sometimes our physicians, they give you this custom fit knee bracing to do exercise with. So it really depends what your needs are. Another common issue that we have seen is as soon as a patient hears bone on bone, they relate that, that they need surgery. Well, bone on bone does not mean you need surgery. There is knee degeneration. When it gets to more severe stages, it becomes more bone on bone. There is different grades of bone on bone. Only the final and last resort, which is less than 20% of bone on bone population, they may require surgery. There is knee degeneration, we need to do knee regeneration. We have a lot of regenerative products. Depends on what your needs are, what needs to be regenerated. If it is ligaments, muscles, tendons, nerves, they need to be regenerated. We do platelet-rich plasma therapy. If there is the knee cartilage is missing, we do stem cell therapy. Now, these two, they're not covered by insurance, but the good news is regenerative injection therapy is starting to become covered with many insurance plans for amniotic-derived regenerative therapy from Wharton's Jelly. I don't want to get into that now. So if and only if you need it, it may be covered. The good news is many insurance companies are covering it because it costs a lot less to pay for this than a total knee replacement. The problem is you think 
by you going to a doctor that you have gone for years to even sometimes surgeons who commonly prescribe surgery for you, you think that's the answer. I'm here to educate you. I'm not here to medicate you. Your job is to get educated. If it makes sense, implement it. In this office, we do everything in our power for you not to need surgery, and we have been successful about it. Can we guarantee it? Absolutely not. We cannot guarantee anything. Have we been successful? Of course we have. In this office, the only care the patient will receive is the care that we recommend. You cannot come here and ask, can I get PRP shot? Well, of course you can ask, but you're not gonna get it because if you feel that you need gel shot, we're not gonna give you a PRP shot. If you feel you need X, Y, Z, we're not gonna give you ABC, even if you pay for it out of pocket, even if your insurance doesn't cover it. We want you to get better as fast as possible. You may feel that you're coming into our office with the best suggestion that you received from your neighbor, your mother, your child, your grandchild. However, you fail to realize we have a team of doctors, team of medical professionals available here for you who studied this for years and years. And all of them, they recommend the same or similar care to you, the patient. People are different. People have to get evaluated. You need to get evaluated. You need to get examined. Then we provide you the care plan that we would feel it best suits your needs. You may need physical therapy in conjunction with other procedures that are provided to you. But again, I need you to realize all physical therapy is not equal. We have had patients, as soon as we say you may need physical therapy for the gel shots to stay there and the muscles to get stronger, they say, oh, I've had physical therapy, it didn't work. Well, you need to understand, there is a physical therapy where you go to a therapist, the therapist puts you on a machine, 35 minutes after they come and say, okay, you can go home, versus there's a physical therapy that you work with a doctor of physical therapy who works with you one-on-one -on -one to provide relief, increase range of motion, stretch the tight muscles, strengthen the weak muscles. And that's what we have at Medwell. That's the difference. We also provide a technology which is second to none. It was shocking to us even when we started applying it on the patient. It's called neurogenics. Neurogenics is an electronic signal technology that stimulates nerve regeneration. So increases nerve signals. The more nerve signals you have, the more your muscles get stronger, the faster you recover. And it provides exceptional pain relief. It has been a great success for us using neurogenics because it works and it works really, really well for any sort of nerve problem, including nerves around your knees, nerves for neuropathy, where you don't feel where your feet are, you have numbness and tingling, and of course, back pain. So the key is to provide the care that you need all at the same time. This is a big key factor. They work synergistically. Like your condition, it works synergistically. You cannot have a weak muscles and tendons around your knee with a strong knee joint. You cannot have a weak knee joint with strong muscles around it. Either the whole area is weak or not. Okay, so the treatment, if you one thing that you take from this, that as I said before, the care that you get in this office is the care that we recommend. Okay, because we understand that certain services, they work synergistically. Our patients' population, they are from elderly to younger generation. We have patients in their 20s, they come here for treatment for their knee problem. 
We have physicians come to this office. We have musicians come to this office, professional athletes coming to this office from New Jersey or out of state. We have physicians who do surgery themselves. They come to this office to get non-surgical orthopedic care. Did you know surgeons, if they need surgery, they use that as last resort or they try to do everything to prevent surgery? Why? Because they do not want a scar on their knee or anywhere they, have, they need surgery. They do not want to go under the knife. They do not want to have exposure to anesthesia because there's a chance of death. Whenever you go to hospital or surgery center to have surgery, you sign, I don't know, 25 to 30 pages of paper. But well, one of them is states, if we give you anesthesia and you die, it's not our fault. So anesthesia is something to really consider whether you want to do surgery or not. There's high risk of infection. That's why most people, they don't want to do surgery. Loss of wages, loss of work, not to mention surgeries are not guaranteed anyway. But the good news is that most insurance plans, including Medicare, pay for the services that we mentioned that is provided at Medwell Spine, Knee and Leg Pain Center. So what are your options? Do nothing. What do you think is going to happen in six months from now? A year from now? You know the answer. You're going to get worse. Second option, live on the medications that you have been taking or you will be taking. What do you think is going to happen if you do that? You're going to mess up your kidney. You're going to mess up your liver. You're going to mess up your sleep. You're going to mess up your sex drive. You're going to get depressed. These are all potential risk factors. You may have all of them. You may have none of them. Another option, do surgery, go under the knife, and you may need another surgery after that. Doesn't it make more sense to at least try this non-surgical approach that has been successful for many of our knee patients to reverse their arthritis pain, reverse their life back to how it should be again, be able to play with their children, grandchildren. If this has worked for patients who were scheduled for total knee replacement, there's a good chance it's gonna work for you. I don't know, you don't know, what you know, you need to come here and get evaluated. And we are going to inform you whether you need the care, what you would need, and the choice is yours after that. Once again, there is no guarantee in health field. If you go to a physician who guarantees their work, stay away from that physician. That includes us. Can be guaranteed? Of course not. Is it successful? Yes. Surgeons should not guarantee and cannot guarantee their job as well. Wouldn't it be nice to start the healing process today and have a pain-free holiday? Have a pain-free Thanksgiving? I know, based on the hundreds of patients that our physicians have seen at Medwell, you're living in this misery. And we want to help you to get better as fast as possible. It is very important for you not to waste time any longer. Get started as soon as possible because arthritis usually becomes worse, evidently, as you know. The sooner we start, the faster you heal and the better you feel. As soon as we start the intervention, with the first visit, healing starts immediately. We hear success stories from patients almost every day. We just had a patient who is a professional athlete who had to give up her favorite sport, which she was known for. I cannot mention her name because there's a good chance that you know her, but she's back on the field now. 
This program is not for everyone as well. You must qualify for it. You need to fill out the paperwork, come in here, see one of our new patient coordinators, see one of our physicians, get evaluated. We do on-site diagnostics to see whether you need the care, what care do you need, whether we accept you as a patient, how committed you are as a patient. If from 10 to zero, zero being least committed, 10 being the most committed, if you're less than an eight, we will not accept you as a patient because our reputation is on the line as well. We want committed patients who do not want to have surgery to get them to our office and help them. So if you want to feel younger, if you want to eliminate your years of frustration, relieving your knee arthritis pain without surgery, if you want to be able to climb stairs, if you want to be able to be active, play sports, play with your children, grandchildren, this is the time to take action for your health. We have appointments six days a week. We see patients during this pandemic by appointment only because we take coronavirus, COVID-19 seriously. We take precautionary measures to make sure you are safe in this office and you should take it too. If this non-surgical successful approach makes sense for you, give us a call. If it doesn't make sense for you, don't give us a call. If you are not committed to fix your problem, don't give us a call. It's not gonna change our life. We are here to change your life. This webinar is not only about information. This webinar is to alert you and alarm you about what's available for you to decide whether you want to take this action, whether you want to take massive action to get your health back and implement. Knowing this technology, these type of shots, regenerative medicine, so on and so forth that we discussed, knowing them, they're available, they're not going to fix you. Getting them will hopefully fix you. So you're active again. Give us a call. Our number is below. If you have any questions, we'll be happy to answer it. And God bless.